Hey, hey, hey! Hey, guys! Welcome to the Carpool Home Show 2022! Yeah. Good to see you all! So, so cool! Uh, what an amazing summer it's been! Oh, how beautiful has it been! So oh, warm, Dino! It's been hey. legendary! I think everyone's feeling a bit charged with all the nice yeah. vitamin D and all that good stuff. Good relaxing time. And, so. uh, of course, you know, we've really loved and appreciated our amazing audience that's tuned yeah. in week after week and hung out with us on the Carpool Home Show. Really loved it. Thank You've you, la guys. laughed at us flipping, <laughs> trying to sing. You but, trying to sing? I well, sing well. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, really, I mean, we're actually going to kick off a brand new series, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, very exciting. And uh, that series is all about the small life adjustments that we can make uh, that make the biggest difference in our lives. And uh, often it's just those small things um, and over a period of time do kind of really help us live our best yeah, life. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we just want to bring to, to the show a bit of um, encouragement, determination for you guys within this, this new year and also just be a, a really inspiring series for you guys and That's to it. improve yourselves and just become the best us, right? Yeah, live your mm. best life, right? And we can learn so much from each other. And, yeah. um, you know, people have gone through things and live life yeah. and experiences that, you know, that nothing's ever a mistake or a regret if you can mm. learn from it, right? Totally. And, uh, and even better when you can learn it from what somebody else has gone through. So you have to go through all that pain yourself. Oh, experts. <laughs> I mean, look, we're going to be still talking about yeah. business sometimes, but we're going to be talking about the mind, the healthy body. We're just going to bring you really yeah. good holistic tips this yeah. year. Yeah. So what are some of those cool topics that we're going to talk about this year? Business. Business. Absolutely. And, and certain, we're going to drill down into certain parts of business, whether it is, you know, management of finance mm. or, or whether it's leadership and staff or family. Um, yeah. Family is important. Family. Yeah. Um, you mean, you can't have a good business without a good family life, no, right? Absolutely. Uh, marriage. You know, yeah. we can drill down into those kind of Might things. Might have to bring my wife on then. Great mates. Yeah. How to, you know, kind of make sure that you spend how you're spending or how you're building good friendships in your yeah, life. Absolutely. Like, that's flipping like powerful. you and me. You're yeah, a good mate. Bro. What about team culture at work? Yeah, how team important culture. is that? Yeah, absolutely important. Retention of clients. Yep. Yeah. Sales. Sales. You know, yeah. there's so many cool tips. So what we actually want to do is get our guests in the car and each and every uh, week we just talk about one thing mm. that they're doing exceptionally well. Yeah. Why it's important to them, how they got to sort of learn that lesson. Yeah. And how can they encourage and give us the tips to to learn that and, and I, th I guess make it a sustainable habit or skill in Absolutely. our lives, right? Yeah. So that's going to be what the Carpool Honcho series is about this year. We're looking forward to having a heap of fun. Totally. And it's yeah. just going to be practical, fun, and really good, wise wisdom. Yeah. So to kick off this uh, first month series, we're going to be talking about the topic of daily habits. Excellent. And really what we're saying is, what are those little things that you can do to lighten the load, freshen mm. things up, and just boost your daily kind of zing about, you know, getting out of bed and going for it each and every day to give, you know, give you your best day. And, yeah. uh, yeah. We've got a great guy. Very, We've got Andy very. Prentice. This guy is so full of energy and yeah. life is energy, guys. He will give you some tips. The whole month we're going to be feeding you tips on how to just inspire yourselves, get out of bed, go, 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 and really be excited for life. So we're going to pick up yeah. Andy Prentice now and he's going to get you going. Woo! Hey, Andy. Here he is. Yo. Andy the Prentice, how are you? So good, man. So good. Welcome to the Garbo Honcho, man. It's so good to be here with you guys. Uh, so here he is. I mean, Andy Prentice, not only is he the amazing manager of the crate, um, a lot of people rave about oh, yeah. uh, the vibe, the culture, and the connection that we have amongst our community, and it's driven from the top, this amazing man. Uh, not only is he the crate manager, what else is he, Rory? He's a crazy pastor. <laughs> He's a fun-loving, energetic man and loving father and pastor and a husband. Yep, yeah. of Catalyst Church, along with his amazing wife. They lead mm. uh, a church um, out, out where? West. Out northwest. Northwest. That's northwest. right. Hey, B. Yeah, amazing family. So, uh, of course, we can't go much further in the crate without uh, asking you what your favorite song is, mate. So... Oh. All right, well, so today, you know, we're going to be talking about habits, and I wanted to, to stay on theme a little bit, so I'm going to go with One Republic Run. <laughs> Woo! Let's do it! Let's do it, boys! Let's go! Yeah! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! 
So keep cool. your pump, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. So, guys, welcome to the show. And of course, the topic of daily habits. Before we go any further, thank you to our amazing sponsors. Thank you, guys. You're amazing. Today's podcast is driven by our friends at Albany Toyota. And we are fed by our mates at Sal's Pizza. And our tunes are brought to you from The, the Sound Store. Store. All righty, Andy. So, of course, we've been talking to our audience about our topic this month. This series is Daily Habits. And, of course, the concept around that is what can we do regularly, push the repeat button on yeah. in our lives, yeah that we kind of get to the point where we're on we're on automatic pilot. Yeah. You know, there's that concept that sometimes you drive to work and you don't know how you got there because you just do it because you're on autopilot. It doesn't have to be hard because you've got yourself into the habit of doing it, right? Yeah. And so I believe that if you start to do that on really positive, healthy action points, yeah. that you actually start to live your life fresher, easier, lighter, yeah. and the outcome is it gives you that boost that you need to live your best life every day. Yeah, right? of course. So. The number one question to you is, what is that habit and when do you do it? Cool. Well, for me, one of the habits that I've developed is a personal check-in to see where my levels are at. And cool. I'm, by that, I mean like, where am I emotionally? Where am I physically? Where am I spiritually? Where am I mentally in what I'm doing right now? Cool. Like, And so for me, I, I tend to, to check this in at the end of each day uh, before knocking off, going to bed. Uh, because it just gives me an adjustment so I know coming into the next day what is important, where wow. I need to be making adjustments and wow. tweaks. That's that cool. is cool. That's very cool. I once had someone tell about the whole concept of each and every day, reflect on the day and what yeah. you can do better tomorrow, and that fits in so beautifully with that, right? Yeah. Is, is can, can, can I tweak the way I, I did today? so that tomorrow can be a little bit better. 100%. Yeah. But Andy, I, I, I've got a question for you, mate. Yeah. So why why is it so important to you personally to do this every day? Well, for me personally, there's been times in my life where I've hit the wall. Like, like, and like, you know, in that song, it took running until you hit the wall. But when you hit the wall, that's not a fun place to be in. Right. right? And so when I've got no emotional capacity or my, my brain is just fried mentally or I'm just <laughs> spiritually, I've just got nothing there or nothing to give, that's not a place to be. And... It's not fun. So for me, it's important to know where I'm at in order to maintain and, and measure what's going on, the outputs and how that works. Ooh, looks powerful, man. And of course, the problem about letting things go to the point where you hit the wall like that, right, is that it takes so much longer to recover. Yeah. 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 Can you tell us just, you know, before we move on about, I guess, you know, what it's like when you hit the wall and, and what sort of can go wrong and sometimes how long can it take to kind of, you know, get that get back on track? Yeah, of course. So, I mean, I'm, I can recall a time in my life physically where like, you know, you're just living life, you're doing everything going along and physically my weight just ballooned, ballooned beyond where I wanted it to be <laughs> and it affected everything, my, yeah. my energy levels, my, my relationships around me because wow. I'm not able to give as much as what was wow. there. And so it's very easy for, for you know, the weight and whatnot to, to creep on. But when I made a decision to come out of that and I reflect back on this, it took a long time. It took me to, yeah. like yeah. a focused effort, but coming out of that, the impact that that made around every area of my life was huge. But that was because one of my tanks had depleted. Yeah. And so it was just, it was just not there and it impacted on everything not else. Not gonna affect, eh? especially as a pastor, you need so much energy for so many people eh? yeah. Yeah. yeah, so true. And of course, isn't it interesting, you know, it's almost like, it's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? How the, it's, it's kind of easy to fall into the trap of doing, you know, having bad habits or, or habits that aren't healthy or don't inject, right? And it's kind of, they're really, really easy. And of course, the little things over a long period of time escalate, kind of gets the snowball gets bigger and bigger. But the beautiful thing, of course, is that when you start to do those things the opposite way uh, and you start to put in good, healthy habits, it can have a really good ongoing effect. Yeah, And so, you know, you've talked about, I guess, the impact of, you know, falling into the trap and not having that habit in your life, which is, you know, looking in at your daily levels, 
now that you've kind of got that as a, as a, as a habit in your life, what are some of the ongoing benefits that you've found for you, maybe your family, your marriage, your kids, your business? Yeah. Tell us about that. So for me, it comes down to a word intentionality. Like the life that we live is going to be designed by us and the actions that we do. Like we're the sum total of every decision we've made today, yeah. right? Like so everything that we've done today makes us who we are. And yeah. so nothing in yeah. our life happens kind of by accident, it's how we've responded and developed that. So having these check-ins allows me to make small decisions, small tweaks every day that build towards the life that I want to live. Mm. So who I want to become, the the decisions that I make, and reflecting on what I've done and going, hey, maybe I didn't handle that the best day, way there. Maybe my level is a little bit low and I need to make so, some adjustments here. I'm not looking, like, I'm notoriously bad. I find it hard to, I just want to go all in. But actually that consistency of just a habit that builds upon itself and then just tweaking and moving those things makes such a difference for me. Yeah. And, and it actually talks to you being a runner and life being a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. So it's this constant little improvements <laughs> and tweaks, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the ability to go. And like, you know, even like you take that analogy of running, when I first ran, the amount of distance that I could run was so small. I had a dream in my head about running a marathon. That was was the dream right <laughs> but then when I ran three kilometers which is just a fraction <laughs> I was dream. I was dead <laughs> a bit like you know as you consistent in that and built in that and checked where my fitness was at and made sure I had the right things it built into that and that same concept applies in in mm. all areas of our life but yeah. knowing that that happens and being intentional on in that happening in those spaces is so key and important for us that's so cool. beautiful so let's talk about the how can you give us and our listeners a little a couple of practical tips on how to make this a key habit in our lives and so that's sustainable yeah absolutely well you you can't you can't do it firstly unless you try and define who you want to be, right? Mm. And then for each of us, we're all different. We're all mm. different people and learning and discovering who we are, what actually fills up our tanks and yep. and makes us who we are, what we find enjoyable yep. is important. So that's the first thing that we have to have around this. For me, one of the things that I do do is I set, I like setting alarms. So I have on my watch uh, a little alarm that just buzzes on there every night at nine o'clock. So at nine o'clock at night, I have this there. This is an indicator to me that I'm actually going to ramp down my day. Uh, it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always work <laughs> like that. But for me, and that's just a key little trigger that goes on. And I don't even think about, okay, cool. What does this alarm yeah. mean? I know that this little beep yes. and vibration on my arm does that for me. And so just a little simple trigger there. And so we kind of like, you know, with a habit, you, the next thing I do is I yeah. start to look, what am I going to do now? And I guess we come back to your last, what you're saying before about being intentional that you know it's easy to ignore those alarms but if you you sort of say right when i do feel that buzz i'm going to intentionally start to wind down mm. and move towards that place of reflecting on my day yeah yeah mm. um it's uh, the opposite end of the day of course is when you get out of bed and the alarm goes off and you, you're gonna hit snooze yeah or you're gonna move your feet <laughs> to the floor <laughs> roll out of bed you know and I, I know that you know someone once said to me whatever you do don't push snooze just yeah. move your feet to the door and i know literally yeah. For me, sometimes my body's still in bed and my feet are on the floor, <laughs> but I know that I've made a real giant step towards getting yeah. my day off to a good yeah. start, even if I don't feel like getting up and standing out of bed right there and then, but I'm, I've started to wake myself up and, and do what I wanted to do, and that was to get up at a certain time. Yeah. Um, and so I love the fact that you talked about being intentional mm -hmm. and making that decision. So that's so cool. The other thing around that too is that if you want to you want to make it achievable, you want to make it something simple, right, that you can do. Yeah. And so there's a sort of concept around like a keystone habit that you just do this one thing and then that'll allow other things to flow on. But if you just make that one thing simple, easy and achievable, you can do it. Like I know like when I was working on my, my life and I was trying to make myself like lose weight, right? And, and, and affect my physical energy levels. All I did was track what I ate. Like that was wow. my, all I did, but because I was tracking, it flowed on to, okay, now I'm going to be a little bit more intentional with what I put in and, and make decisions around that. And, and, and lots of areas in my life, I've done that where I've made a decision, like for me as a pastor, it's an important habit for me to have a daily time of, of reading my Bible and having time there. So all I, all I have is this, okay, well, I have a pop up on my phone that I'm going to read at least the, 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 a, a verse each day or, or whatever it is. And then that often will flow into more. But it doesn't have to, and by sustain, making a sustainable habit, it's so important for me. And the word that comes to mind for me is consistency, right? If you can use tools like your alarm and make it a consistent habit, all of a sudden it'll become a natural thing for you, right? Yeah. And you enjoy your, you're enjoying it because you're improving. 
and consistency will trump hard work, talent, yeah. like you know, like that that yeah. rush of energy. Yeah. You every don't have time. to be the smartest tool in the shed, right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's, the, it's it's not the person that does you know something occasionally very very well. It's the person that does something consistently. Yeah. Yeah even averagely, but consistently over a longer period of time that will yeah. become the most excellent or the 100%. most successful. And this yeah. is the same thing as, as Dean singing. He sings every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting actually, better actually and getting better. better. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> hey, I've got this thought that I'd love to share with you guys or get your, your feedback on, and that is, you know, the concept that, you know, we, we often gravitate to what is easy, yeah. right? So when we talk about building up positive habits in our lives, the thought that how do we make those things easier, mm, right? Yeah. So for an example, if it comes down to you know food, it's often easy to grab, you know, to pick up something that's not healthy and eat it, right? Mickey Whether it's D's. on the, your Mickey D's or even out of the fridge, it might just be some bread with some, you know, whack something on it. It might not be the healthiest thing. Whereas um, to make it easier, you prepare, right? And you have yeah. you prepare your food for the day, and you know exactly what you want to eat. And it's just as easy to grab as what. It, in fact, it's easier than grabbing the bread and putting something on it that you wouldn't really want to put. You know, how you're trying to do low carbs or something. Yeah. So, you know, what's your guys' thoughts around how we can make the good things, the healthy things in our lives, easier? Have you guys got an example in your lives that, that you sort of where you do that? Yeah, well, if you eliminate the bad things, right? So it's okay. it's, it's harder to reach okay. for that pack of bickies if okay. they're not in your cupboard. You have yeah. to hop in the car and drive down nice. to the, the, the supermarket and mm. pick them up, right? So like the things, but again, it comes back to knowing what you want to achieve mm. and then and having those plans in, in place, that intentionality. So, but that elimination thing was huge for me, mm. like, you know, eliminating some of those things <clears> that, that come out. Let's, let's, let's gravitate away from food because that's the yeah of course that's kind of the easy <laughs> e, kind of it's the hardest but it's the easiest in the sense of okay don't buy the flipping thing it's a bit yeah. like if you're an alcoholic and you don't want to become don't want to drink alcohol well don't have alcohol in the house exactly, right yeah. but let's just say for an example it's a habit of being a, a positive person yeah how how do you make that easier in your life uh, how do you I've got a something I can maybe share with you guys okay so I use friends. And I use friends as my accountability. Okay. So if I figure I need to be more positive for the year, sometimes I set up a WhatsApp group, mm -hmm. um, like for my church, and we always putting. And this is just for men. This is fathers on on a WhatsApp group, and these guys are always feeding in. If we've got an issue, if we need some prayer for ourselves, or um, we just need to have a chat over coffee, I'm using my friends as coaches and my accountability. Nice. And I do that with my gym as well, but I just need that accountability mm. because I can't always be, I can't always do that myself. Yeah. I need good people around me. The concept of borrowing other people's strengths, right? Like, you know, yeah. leaning on their, their strengths and their encouragement. But again, like you can't do life alone. No. I know each of us have different levels of, of mm. where we might want to lean on people being like, you know, introverted or extroverted. Mm. But regardless of where you find yourself on that scale, doing life together, a sense of community yeah. and being able to lean on other people's, uh, expertise, their yeah. energy, their experiences to encourage you and to lift you through and to know that somebody else has been able to do it before and, and, and have, have them help you. Can, can I also say, as a client of the, of the crate, that's what I find unique about the crates and why it works, is because you have such a lot of good people around us mm. that help us and want to see us grow and vice versa. We're all yes. heading in, in one direction and that direction's up. Yeah. yeah. And if you're around good people, they're going to help you get there. That is so cool. And you want to be around people that have this, have habits or wanting to formulate the habits that you're wanting to have. Yeah. Like attracts like. Okay. Okay. So now we're talking, that's, I love it. I can see it. I, I got a glimpse of what you guys are talking about and talk about making it easier is surround yourself with people that you want to be like, because we're, we're chameleons, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the chameleons at heart. Yeah, we 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 become like those around us. Yeah, and I guess if you sort of got, you know, maybe it might be you. You just find yourself being a negative Nancy, you know. Oh, Sorry, man. Nancy, <laughs> <laughs> a negative so and so. And you know what? Well, surround yourself with positive people. Yeah. yeah? yeah Let's say yeah. you want to be a better leader. Well, surround yourself with better leaders. Um, you become like those <laughs> you hang around. That that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. So awesome. Hey, Andy, before we sort of wrap up, could you wrap up? Could you just kind of just recap really briefly on what, when, 
uh, you know, why and how you, you do what you do each and every day? Yeah. Okay. So for me, obviously, checking in with my levels, knowing where I'm at mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, just doing a, a run through of where each of those tanks are. And then for me, knowing where I'm at uh, and how I can replenish those. So and I do that every day. I do that at the end of the day. I reflect on what's been happening there to know where I'm at. After the buzzer. After the buzzer. <laughs> and I make sure, like for me, that... I can make adjustments in my next day, okay? And and yeah. for me, that that makes a massive difference. Uh, like, you know, it, it, it means that my energy levels aren't getting drained, so I don't have to find myself putting an extra effort or extra time or yeah. hitting that wall. And it just flows out into every area of your life. So find people that are around you that want to do the same things, that will encourage yeah. you and be in that. Lean on their strengths. Woo-hoo! Love it. Well, yeah. I love that. It's what a cool yeah. chat. Uh, sweet little injection of uh, a tip and a trick, a habit that you can take on board that can help you live a fresher day every day, literally. So it's been so cool to have you. Um, not only are we thank you for our sponsors, uh, external sponsors, of course, we have a couple of internal sponsors. Uh, of course, the Crate Flexible Office Ooh, Space has come yeah. up in our chat today, but we have the coolest uh, co-working shared space down on Constellation Drive in Albany. We want to invite you, if you're in business, or looking for somewhere just to hide and do get some great productivity, but most importantly, build a connection with people like we've been yeah, talking man. about of like mind, like heart, that are building, that are uh, entrepreneurial, that are risk takers, and really want to make an impact in life and live their best life. You know, whether it's in a business or an organisation you're growing, come and get some space with us. Um, you know, don't think you're paying rent uh, for a desk, man. You are you are going to get your business marketed, and of course, you're going to build some really good collaborations that can help take your business next level. And it's a cool experience. Yeah. Totally and of course, cool experience. We have Naked Marketing. Oh, Rory, yeah. tell us about Naked Marketing. Hey guys, buddy. we're just a really cool bunch of people that really care for our clients and. Uh, we just love seeing our clients grow and get get really good exo- uh, results for you guys. Mm. So just connect with us, even if, if it's for a coffee or a beer. We'd love to just hang out with you because we love ne- meeting new people and, yeah, just uh, living life. You know, we talk about naked marketing. You know, your slogan is exposing your best side. <laughs> and uh, it's so, so corny. No, so cool. <laughs> so cool. But the point is, is that so many businesses are doing such brilliant things. You know, we're driving around the streets now. And there's so many cool businesses around us, but they, often people struggle to talk about their strengths and tell the world why they are as good as what they are. But of course, you need to do that in business. Yeah. But that's what I love about Naked Marketing. They help you expose your best side. So if you're looking for some great marketers, definitely connect with these guys. Uh, jump online, Naked Marketing. Dot co yeah, dot and uh, talk to Rory and the team out in Legends. We'd love to. Right. Well, we've loved having out, hanging out with you today. Yeah. Thank you, folks. And I uh, look forward to seeing you next week on the Carpool Honchos as, Carpool Honcho, as we continue to explore the topic of daily habits. Take yeah. care. Thank you, Andy. You. Woo! Uh, run, run, run. Run, run, run. run, run. If I learn my lesson, count my blessings, look to the rising sun. Learn my lesson, count my blessings, look to the rising sun. If I learn my lesson, count my blessings, look to the rising sun. Run, run, run. Yay!